Uh, sure. <clears throat> God, I'm having a bit of a cough and a very awkward sounding throat, so I will accept. Oh, they're down? Jeez. Uh, sure. I accept the terms and conditions. The season of the reptile is here. My boy reptile is getting a whole lot of drip this time. So much love. Thank you for the info. Homelander. Oh boy. All right, you fucking pieces of narcissistic assholes. Your fucking lover Homelander is here. Want to behave like a pathetic little boy? This is your man. Your pathetic Superman that wants to talk shit <laughs> on your characters. Oh my god. We get one free week for trying out Homelander. I can't wait to try him out in a different video. Yeah, Homelander will roast your ass. <laughs> Be aware you have this dialogue and this banter, so be ready for this shit. Oh. Oh, cool. They've added navigation information. That's cool. Um, Blue pathways, red pathways, green pathways, arrow. That's nice. So weekly tower, you will have three. But we're not going to play today. We'll be in a different... Um, It'll be in a different video, but just to show you. You have one week to try out Homelander. I don't know what I want to play just yet. The Zeterans now infiltrate our reality. Are their timelines apex predators? Cunning and tenacious. They conquer peoples and nations, consuming them with slithering ease. As with other timelines they have subdued, these Zaterans have begun their assault on our timeline quietly. Their shape-shifting spies infiltrate our ranks, killing and then replacing those entrusted with this timeline's protection. We must find and finish these imposters quickly before they irrevocably diminish our defenses. If we fail, the Zeterans will waste no time filling their starving bellies with our flesh. This time, uh, we're gonna start with the Fire Temple. And it looks like we have a new Mesa. This is the Flesh Pits, so this is where Sizoth, where he's a jailer, this is where he's from, so this is where you're gonna have to see all of the abominations that um, that you will encounter. In Season of Reptile, we have 48 days. We're gonna see how many Order of Darkness skins they're gonna be available once we encounter all the content here in Invasions, but that'll be in a different video. Let's see what the online awards give us. So the awards, Reptile, Reiko is tier 2. Oh, those who are Kenshi fans, they can get this Order of Darkness palette. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh, man. The green Kenshi, oh, that looks so good. It's tempting me to get it though, but I would stray away. I don't want to be stressed out for getting it. Reptile, Reiko, Re um, Reiko gets this uh, first pair of Order of Darkness. So this is going to be an, an exciting time for those Reiko players to get it. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. We have a first set of uh, Reiko palettes. That's awesome. For the catchy guys who love the drip, good luck going to Elder God or have fun. And congratulations to get it if in advance if you choose to get it. Alright, so let's check out the store. Let's see. <clears throat> Earthrealm Katana. Whoa. And Earthrealm Melina and Earthrealm Rata. Dude, they got some drip. <laughs> Announcer Melina. Ooh, I don't know. I wonder what she sounds like. And Jack and Crystals, of course. Um, so just a reminder, 48 days, one month, and three weeks to make sure that you get all your drip for Reptile. Hmm. Ah, ooh, they finally have Order Darkness stuff. This is awesome. Uh, not quite hunting though. Uh -huh. This is gonna be interesting because this is a different approach for like seasonal items. And... 
Okay, so Melina gets gets this order of darkness one. Um, this one he only gets Union of Light. Eh. All right, sure. Mostly this is just gear pieces. Just gear pieces. Yeah, Kenji gets a Union of Light um, reptile skin. Ah, okay. Limi gets a very slimy green looking uh, Order of Darkness skin. Look at this. So it's not so much season seasonal stuff this time. I wonder how much like um, Netherrealm is gonna limit us on using like uh, seasonal credits and stuff. Okay, Slimy Lime. So she gets some love uh, in this season. So Fun Police Sub-Zero gets one too. Yes, of course, Reptile gets one as well. Fire Snake. Oh yeah, that's definitely Order of Darkness right there. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure why that's the case. It's, it's not that, it's not that many. Interesting. Alright, let's go to the sword. Heaven and Earth Realm, Monolith. Whoa. <laughs> Gee. Katana, look at the chip though. Plur. Technoterran? What's that? And the Blade Fan? Comet and Chill? Oh god. <laughs> look at this. Look at that Katana drip though. Oh god. Okay. Close up for the snapshot. Okay. Alright. We're gonna go take a good long look at ya. Look at that pants though. <laughs> And the shoes. I feel like all of these Earth Realm additions to the premium store have like the some sort of the hip hop culture that apparently Netherum Studios wanted to add some flair to. Zip up shoes. Nice. Interesting sex appeal for Katana. Earth Realm Katana, excuse me. With that little headband up there too. And the hairpiece. Oh wait. Uh let me let me turn around. Yeah, Katana has Yeah, that, that hairstyle is asking for trouble for those uh, hip-hop honeys that want to try that style. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> as far as Melina... <sighs> Hungry Hipster, Club Kid, Let's Dance, Electronica, Disco Queen, Party Crasher. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, this is what we saw during the Homelander uh, teaser when he fights against Melina. So let's check this one for example. Alright, they've added the MK drip. Oh god. <laughs> they've added a fatality shoulder band. That ass though, hey. <laughs> Yo, look at this. Holy shit. For 500 dragon crystals, I'll bet many Molina fans are gonna gun for this skin. Or the uh, palette, excuse me. As far as the kicks right here, that's a huge tongue. Let me try to zoom in this one. Dude. Can I get it at? Molina's shoe right there. Look at that detail. <laughs> and then Molina's straps at MK. Oh, it's a belt. Oh god. So Molina's covering her belly button and her navel. So if all the Molina fans want to like cosplay this way, oh god, this is going to be easy for the cosplayers that want to like dress up like this. If we turn around very slowly, the hairstyle looks like a, some Chun Li buns with a very thick, <laughs> long long hair hairstyle in the back. This hairstyle, for those who want to like Barbie up Melina, have fun with this. As far as Reptile? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, young American, oh god, really? Young American, Bass Head, ba Bass Head, Eye Candy, Rebel Rebel, Studio LK44, oh god. <sighs> mean Streets. This hip hop drip though, seriously. All right. Let's look at you, Reptile. Look at your kicks. Get in close up. Uh, let's, let's get in close. Okay, what kind of kicks are those? <laughs> you guys, Nether Realm, I can't believe you just pulled this off. Look at that side profile of the kicks. Make the shoes around the combatant. All the green and that very bright <laughs> uh, green accent on the back. 
<laughs> the MK Fatality Sash. There's cargo pants here. And Reptile has like some extra tattoos on his hand. Look at that cargo drip. What is this? What is this, man? Look at this. What the hell? That jacket must be fierce for, for the... <laughs> that fierce jacket, though. The dragon logo and a fatality. Oh, God. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Dude, seriously, they were totally making this banging though. Oh my god. <laughs> and it's a zip-up mask. That's that's new. Holy shit. As far as like the hoodie in the back. Hey. If Netherrealm does all this merchandise, every person is going to like rock that jacket for those who main reptile. Reptile is my first ninja to play in season one and this is tempting me to like buy this for like 500 dragon crystals but if netherrealm series is gonna pull this one off especially if like they're gonna showcase all the <laughs> mk drip <laughs> uh, season six man everyone's gonna talk about oh can i get one and shit and all the ladies my god that's some hot yoga pants for katana melina has got the short shorts melina's got short shorts though hey <laughs> But it's not like, this is all the hip hop slash rave kind of vibe. I'm not sure about the Molina announcer, so I'll, I'll leave it up to the other content creators to do so, to buy it. I'm not gonna spend Dragon Crystals, but it's good to have it. Yeah, it's good to have new additions in the premium store, so it's, it's interesting to see this now. I guess this is what my impression is that they just finished Combo Breaker, and I think some some of the fan base was suggesting modernized Outworlders uh, Wearing the Earth Realm drip, it's probably Johnny Cage's idea. Who knows? <laughs> it's impressive, and I, I really like the design. All these Earth Realm, the the first, all first of these three Earth Realm skins, I would give them a ten out of ten straight up. And especially all all of these are five hundred dragon crystals to spend, and they're all legendary. You get six editions. You get six palettes to choose from. That's nice. Plus the piece of gear, uh, according to the combat. I'm going to the command that you're gonna get. Um, staying alive, reptile. Oh god. I don't know who. I don't know how many Melina fans prefer the color scheme for her, but that that is one. That's one sexy ass design. <laughs> oh shit. It's hard to choose a color, but they're all good. But all the details are showing. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh my god, another realm. Okay, is there anything in the shrine? Because um, there's nothing showing up yet, but we'll check it out. Oh, sick! Okay, so use your coins to obtain randomized rewards. So now the way it works is that um, the update now for the shrine is that you can set how many coins you want to spend. So if you want to spend a maximum of 10, a thousand coins times 10 is 10,000, 10,000 pieces of coins. So since I have so many coins, I might as well do 10. So it's just, it's just a lot easier for me to go through all this. So let's take a look how many random ass rewards I'm going to get. So let's check it out. Quanchi? Okay, so this is the uh, the story mode when um, reptile, reptile escapes from Outworld. So Quan Chi is disguised uh, during the Sindo Festival. Oh, Quan Chi. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. Okay, so that's five of those. What? Oh, God. Oh, man. All I get is Quan Chi's story mode. Oh my god. <sighs> but I guess <laughs> that's all I'm getting today, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Yes. Sure. <sighs> that was too fast. Seriously.